our spiritual life on this earth, Supreme Master Ching Hai teaches us the highest method, the Kuan Yin method, which will enable our souls to be liberated from the cycle of birth and death. And in our daily life, a Supreme Master Ching Hai reminds us to live a meaningful saint's life in purity and compassion. She shares with us the art of cooking vegetarian cuisine so that we may bring a warm and loving atmosphere to our families and friends. Vegetarian cuisine is not only nutritious, but also helps our consciousness to be in harmony with nature and filled with love for all beings in the universe. Si nous voulons apporter le paradis sur la terre, nous devons vivre comme les êtres du paradis. C'est-à-dire vivre dans faction harmonieuse en respectant la liberté et le droit de vivre de chacun. Les cinq préceptes Et le régime végétarien ne sont pas vraiment obligatoires. Il s'agit seulement d'un style de vie juste et noble, celui d'un gentleman, d'un chef possédant compassion et grandeur, et dont l'amour inclut toutes les créatures. Étant l'être le plus élevé de toute la création, nous pouvons distribuer cette grâce en percevant la vie dans le monde où nous vivons. Et c'est là vraiment contribuer à la paix sur la terre. C'est cela l'amour, la gentillesse en action. Supreme Master Ching Hai encourages and promotes vegetarianism as the noble way of living. She personally designed the Alternative Living Flyer and launched a global campaign to share this peaceful and loving message to the world. If we want to truly lead a life of love thy neighbor, the neighbors, including our animal friends, especially they harm us in no way. They only beautify our life and they are loving and they make our life more lively, colorful and interesting. We should preserve them, watch them, love them, enjoy their presence. God has made it clear, he said, I made all the animals to befriend you and help you. Through her teachings, millions of people have become vegetarians or are changing their ways of thinking in regards to the sentient nature of our animal friends. With heartfelt gratitude, we sincerely thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for setting aside her precious time to share with us these wonderful vegetarian dishes and easy cooking tips. We invite you to join us on Between Master and Disciples for a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai, featuring nori seaweed wrap and boiled mixed vegetables. We're going to do some nice uh, wrapping today. Yeah. For that, we uh, need some nori seaweed wrap, the one that you use for Japanese sushi. And we have some vegan cheese slices. You can buy them in a uh, you know, health shop. Mm, it smells very nice. Yes. 
I will have some of those uh, vegan mush uh, ham, yeah, or uh, you know, uh, solid ham, whatever you like. And we have some tofu, hard tofu. You can buy them in supermarket even. You don't have to have all of them. <laughs> Just one of them or two of them, we do. And we have some onions, the purple onion, or you can use leek if you don't like onion for the Buddhist. Tomatoes for nice color. Some cauliflower, carrot, hmm? voila. And coriander for taste. Of course, some black pepper, mm -hmm. salt, ground pepper. Doesn't have to be black. Can also be gray. Yeah. Some uh, cooking oil and cooking oil. I use half olive oil and half uh, sunflower oil <laughs> because that's what we have today. <laughs> Not because you have to. Mm. One of the oils good enough. Just I didn't have enough sunflower oil, so I mixed together with olive oil. I have also found some surprise broccoli. You don't have to have all this. You have whatever vegetable you have in the fridge, in the kitchen, it'll be fine. Yeah. Just uh, important it make a little bit colorful so the children will love to eat. And of course, you yourself and your guests. You know? The color is important to make it appetizing and a warm atmosphere for the meal. So the tofu, you slide them into thin pieces and then you slide half of it even. You divide into half. So it's just like a small, your little finger, huh? Okay. You divide this, already cut, slice into another half like that. Yeah. Continue doing that. Same, okay? Very same. And then divide them into half. If we make it too thick, it doesn't fry quick enough, so we have to make it thin. So it be just nice. All right, there we have a lot of tofu. And we will also slide the ham like that into small finger size. Or if you have the mash ham, you uh, just uh, make it like finger size portion. You want to wrap this in seaweed and deep fry them for finger food. And the vegetable, simple. Either you eat it raw like that or you boil it to accompany this uh, fried food. If everything is fried, then it's too oily. That's why you boil it. Or you will eat it raw like that. It's up to you. And onion, you will also slide them into finger size portion. A little thin so that you can wrap it together with a vegan ham. Thin slice. Very thin so that it doesn't taste overwhelmingly onion. Just give a little flavor. Spread out thinly a little bit on a piece of kitchen towel. Even though I already squeezed it after I washed it, but there's still some um, water inside the tofu. You dab the water away a little bit so it doesn't splash when you uh, fry. <laughs> okay, there you are. Good. And put onions, everything aside here together. The onion, you're not going to uh, put the whole piece in like that. You break them into their small pieces according to the layer. So it's easier to wrap. Hmm? And we don't want too much onion together with the hand. Actually, it's very simple, it's just because I'm explaining it, so it sounds like a lot of work, but it's not so. The vegan ham, you also cut it the same size, like tofu, more or less, so we can fry them quick. Originally, this is a mashed ham, and I warm them in the microwave, or you boil them, it becomes a hard piece like this. The mashed ham is convenient. You can shape them whatever way you want. That's what it is. Otherwise, uh, solid ham would be fine. Okay, we'll leave it all here together there. And then we're going to wrap that. 
sao lòng Okay, okay. Good boy. I'll be with you in a while. Don't worry. Okay, so? The coriander, we chop them fine. Yeah. If you have a mashed pan still in a mushy state, then you mix the coriander together before cracking. I'm going to boil this vegetable. Mm -hmm. We uh, like cut them into smaller portions according to their uh, duration already. They have branches like this. Just cut them small. Mm -hmm. And then we boil them. Or we can eat all of this raw diluted with salt and uh, vinegar, or salt, lemon, or maggi, or soy sauce, and lemon. Just soy sauce. Very simple. The thing is, when you cook something oily, it is better you uh, accompany it with uh, boiled vegetable. You know, very quickly boil. You know, like you put them in uh, boiling water, turn off the heater, leave it there for two minutes or so, and take them out. You don't boil them too long. So the goodness, the taste, and vitamin are still present. And the carrot, you chop them into finger size and boil them together with this. That's all there is. Very simple food. Finger size or not finger size is fine. Chop them to bite size also good. You don't mind me telling all details because Maybe the children are watching, and I'd like for them to know how to cook. Mm -hmm. See how easy it is to cook. If you want it perfect, then you put it on the chopping board and use a bigger knife to cut it. Or small knife, also fine. Just hold the carrot and cut it in the middle, and then it becomes more symmetrical the way you want it. Otherwise, it doesn't matter too much. It will go all in the stomach and make you feel good. See how colorful it is? <laughs> Green, white, and carrot dish. Wonderful. Nice. We can eat raw like that even. That's the good news. Yeah. Okay, Hamid, you want carrot, right? Raw? Goody? Here, cut. Yeah. <laughs> Have you one also? Many also? <laughs> All right, boy. Yeah, good. Catch. You lost it? Okay, here, baby. Come. Good boy. Okay. You guys be cool, eh? And then I'll give you some wrapping stuff later. Nice stuff. Okay? Fattening, but nice. <laughs> if we don't eat a lot, it's a little bit and to balance it with the uh, other vegetable. And even if, uh, you know, fried stuff or fattening stuff, I'm not that fattening for you. You keep fine. Now for the tofu, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, brown pepper on the tofu. Careful, don't make them break, okay? Be gentle handling them. <laughs> I'm telling you because I broke some already. <laughs> sprinkle some salt on it. And I can sprinkle it with a finger like that. Meanwhile, I already heat the oil. Just a pinch of salt. We mix it with the salt, with the pepper, and the tofu. Mix it gently, okay? Otherwise, it might break off. Doesn't matter if break. You can fix them together. In one line, and you wrap the tofu. Now I'm going to take the seed, it's too much. I saw them all at this point. You know, tofu is <laughs> really no possibility. Very wonderful. Very nutritious. Good for you. No cholesterol, no fat. You can cook many ways. Even just salt and pepper like this, it tastes delicious already. It even tastes delicious raw without any salt and pepper either. Now we wrap the curry sheet. You see, they are like this already. I'm going to cut them into two pieces so that it just perfectly match 
with the lens of my tofu and ham. So all we do is just <laughs> put this piece of nori and get one piece of tofu here. And there's some coriander on it. Or not, yeah, depends. We do it separately. We don't need all this nori, so we cut it in half. About the size of the palm. A little bit bigger than the palm. And you have to wet the edge of the nori with the water, okay? So it stick together. This is supposed to be very simple. So you, you could just even wrap the tofu in the in the seaweed like this. Very small and simple. No need even coriander. But you can put it on. And roll it like that. Okay? <laughs> Become like a finger. Right. It's truly finger food. And we leave it on one side here. Water boiling. Very good. We put the vegetable in the boiling water. Mm. Turn the vegetable. Mm -hmm. So that they all become boiled. Don't use too much water when you're boiling a vegetable, okay? Otherwise, if you use it, uh, the water, you can also use it later. The boiled water to cook soup, right? Eh? Don't throw away. Ah, oh, wonderful. Ready? So, just leave it there. When it reboils, I will turn the heater off and take it out. After you put it in the boiling water, you turn the heat off, huh? Because if it's electricity, it will continue to boil for a long time in any case. So it, turn a bit. it, uh, it will be heated anyway, very hot. You can leave it until it reboil and then turn it off, or you can turn it off right away. We uh, transfer the boiled vegetable into the seat so that it keeps the color. Yeah. If you keep it in the water too long, it's different. Okay, we've done that. Normally, this you have to serve right away. So, okay, we leave it aside first for now. The vegetable, we should boil it almost after we finish everything else. Mm -hmm. Then it tastes fresher. For the cheese, we don't use the whole piece. We use only half of, of the sheet. Of the cheese sheet, yeah? And also wrap it in the seaweed. Yeah, put some, a few pieces of onion together with it, yeah? And wrap it. Bend it and wrap it. Put water at the edge, like the other one. And just roll it like a cheese finger. If your children want to learn to cook, you must supervise, you know, nearby all the time because the children are not used to the heat, the cooker and all that. Huh? And you don't want them to hurt themselves, yeah? But on the other hand, you need to teach them to cook so they can survive without you <laughs> when they grow up. Also, uh, when you are not well, you cannot cook, they can help you to serve you some delicious, nutritious meal to help your recovery with food and love, all right? You have to teach them from when they were young already. Okay? Even if you don't let them you know, fry the food and all that, maybe not yet when they were too young, but at least they are watching and they're helping you to uh, wrap the food, or wash vegetables. Yes, these are very good experience for them. Make them feel like they are participating in the family uh, activities. Yeah? And after they taste good, uh, they feel like they're also cooking. Okay? Mm -hmm. For the ham, we do the same as with the tofu. Hmm? Because the ham is already a little salty, so I'm not sure if you want to put some more salt in it or not. Otherwise, you can just uh, dash some uh, 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 ground pepper onto the ham before you wrap. Hmm? Depends on your family. If you have kids and you don't want them to feel too shocked, then you don't put the pepper. Hmm? Just the ham. Just wrap it in the seaweed sheet and fried. That's all that was. <laughs>
Ham and coriander taste better. Yeah. Or it doesn't matter, it tastes good already without anything. The tofu also tastes good without anything, truly like that. We have so much beautiful food to share with our family. You know, compassionate, healthy food is always good for everyone. If your ham or your tofu kind of broken a little bit and sh short, and you will just uh, choose another broken piece to match it, to lengthen it, to make it as long as your seaweed. Don't forget to wet the edge with the little water, and then it will stick together like this. You try to separate them, okay? <laughs> like you know where the hams, the rolls is, and where the cheese are, you know? Or you can just surprise yourself and everybody. Yeah, doesn't matter, does it? Like a lotto, you know? See, ah, I got a ham. <laughs> oh, I got a cheese. Also fun, eh? The oil is already... We can put our stuff in already. I like to try the cheese one. The oil is very hot. If it's too slushy, you cover it. There are some uh, nets you can buy to cover your pot. Don't go too near the oil. Come down a little bit, all right? That's just like. Oh. Yes. It has to be hot. The oil must be hot, okay? That's what I'm There. Put them all in the I'm just trying to keep now. See if it's good. Like it has to be crispy on the outside. Mm. Very interesting. The cheese wrap. <laughs> cheese and onion wrap. We don't leave that too long, okay? If the oil is too boiling, too hot, you transfer it. You put the pot out into the knot, the uh, heat it. Heat it. Um, and then uh, you take it out. We prepare a kitchen towel on top of a plate and just put your wrapping finger on it so some of the oil will be absorbed. You can also put it on a sieve and then the oil will also be less when you eat. It has to be very crispy, okay? Crispy outside. Wow, it looks good anyway. Mm. Taste good also. All of them taste good actually. The ham, the tofu, the cheese. They all taste very, very good. Just to make sure I taste. Wow, very crispy. Be careful, it's hot, eh? This is the ham one. Very, very good. I tasted the tofu before. It was also very good. You can't really tell which one is what. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. Wow. It's really good, you know, to offer it to guests or children. Very fun. You know, you could uh, even experiment uh, with uh, uh, some onion in the ham together with the uh, coriander or not, you know? Mm. It won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Or just ham alone even is fantastic. If you don't want it too complicated, cut the ham like a finger size and then wrap in seaweed and fry it and voila. Same with tofu, you know, you just make it simple and easy. But if you want to have a little bit more variety of taste, then you put coriander and onion. Mm -hmm. It does look a little bit more professional, you know, <laughs> when you put some more stuff in your food to prepare, that's all. Okay, for ham or cheese, you put just two very thin pieces of onion in it. Otherwise, it would taste too, too much of the onion, and uh, you don't taste anything else. Hmm? And what you do is just roll it, <laughs> put the ham on top of the... Uh, seaweed, nourish it, and roll it. 
just roll it, roll it, keep rolling it like that. Ah, and roll tight the yeah? end. And roll a little bit further down so that it will be neatly wrapped together. I'm sure you can do it nicely, easily. And the children can also learn this way to cook. Fun food. <laughs> it's fun to cook, really. Huh? Right. To offer people some uh, nutrition and uh, happy feeling when they have food. When they have good food, they feel happy. Of course, you can be vegan. Yeah. I just uh, blend in, blend in vegetable and uh, all kind of experiments you can do. Yeah. But uh, in the beginning, it would be nice already if you could cook just vegetarian. You know, compassionate meal, wonderful taste, good looking, and still uh, no harm to anyone and help save the planet. And then it's wonderful. I'm just showing you simple and fun food, okay? For more sophisticated, you can log on into our SupremeMasterTV.com International, delicious, colorful, and uh, fancy food, all free for you, anytime you want. Because when you first begin to turn your life around and try vegetarian food, maybe you should try with some simple first like this, or other simple recipes, until you can very adept, and then you can try more sophisticated recipe, yeah, as you like. <laughs> Otherwise, a simple life is also a very uh, happy life. You don't have to be simple every day, you know, but mostly people are busy, so just have nutrition food and simple. That's very really wonderful already. Can you see how I wrap it? Yeah. It tighten the first edge of the seaweed and roll it to the other edge. Second edge, that's it, and roll it to the edge. Okay, that's it. That look good, huh? You can also have uh, spring onions, of course, huh? if you like. Uh, it tastes also very nice. Or leeks that I have told you already, but leeks is a little bit uh, harder, mm -hmm. so you have to chop it fine. If you don't have a quick enough reaction, then it's better. You prepare everything first and then fry them all together later on. And not like frying and wrapping at the same time. You can do that also if you can react quick enough. You can do both things at the same time. You can also experiment tofu <laughs> with onion in it or without onion in it. Or you can just use onion for one sort and not the other sort, also very nice. Don't even need onion at all. You know, when you wrap the nori sheet, you wrap it parallel with the division that is already on the nori sheet. You see, they have already the line like that, so when they do the tsuzi, they can cut them into small slice. So you wrap alongside this, parallel with it. It's smoother that way, that's all. Otherwise, it don't matter too much. You see, when uh, the oil is too hot and you worry, it's sprayed, then you put it out on the cold uh, area first, and you put your wrapping things in, and then put it back on the heated uh, cooker. Otherwise, we spray it too much sometimes, depends. You fry only one minute, not longer. Hmm? Good. You guys eat first already. No, He's your friend no, now. No, no, we are friends. He was chained like this no, day and night. No. See, operation, the whole his neck, the whole ring of operation you, you around his neck. You imagine there was pain in bed. Oh, terrible. I can imagine But now he is okay. Of... Uh, everybody have a plate. Which kind of uh, food is this one? Okay. I invented it. Yes. yes. It's a vegetarian, okay? Yes. Okay, cheers. Cheers. 
Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Hey, Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Happy yeah. neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> we are eat already. Yeah, it's just uh, snacks, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Happiness Happy to you, to you and your wife, and, and your father, and your family, Everyone. and your country. <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Good to Italian people. I love Italian people. It's a seaweed, you know, the nori? Seaweed sheet. They use it to make a sushi. Sushi for Japan. Oh, yeah, sushi, okay. okay. And I use it, I cut it into square and then I wrap tofu in it. Okay. And so, yeah, they are vegetarian, vegan, you okay. know, and wrap some vegan ham in it. Mm -hmm. And some cheese in it. Okay. <laughs> and a little onions, yeah. And we eat uh, with the finger. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, Thanks. Oh, sounds good. Good, no? Yeah. And the external part is? Uh, That's the seaweed nori. They get it from the sea and they make it into sheet, yeah? And the Japanese use it to make sushi. I, I just invent to make different. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. I already yeah. prayed before and thank God for you already. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on your luck. You get ham or you get tofu or you get cheese. And you can have vegetable with it, <laughs> with hand, okay? <laughs> Today is simple. But you have also knife and fork if you want it. That's cool. Very Good neighbor, good. I like you. Oh. We all like you very much. Yeah. You try, if you don't like, you don't do it, okay? I give you and you have options. This is a suggestion and this... Uh... Uh, suggestion only, yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> spicy. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. I like spicy. Me also. Uh, when I eat uh, spaghetti... Spaghetti alla rabbia. Yes. Alla rabbia, oh, I love very much. You write uh, very, uh, hot. Chili pepper, very right? hot, very hot. <laughs> uh, what about uh, your uh, olive tree? Are full of olive or yeah. not? I tell these guys, oh, we have so much olive. Is it because it's a, a, it's a fruit food. of the land and you are eating or you are drinking something that you produce it yourself? Mm -hmm. Organic and it's virgin uh, cold pressed no, olive no, oil. No, no uh. chemicals, not at all. No meat, nothing. Uh, expensive and olive oil. Also, Yes, it's expensive. It is for sure, me also. It's oh, not okay. something that I do for gay. It's just for the pleasure to have That's something that. that has been yeah. grown up in my land. Yeah. And, and we uh, give it to friends. Yes, as, as, a, as, a, mm. as a gift. Yeah. That's all. Because this kind is organic, freshly produced, so very expensive. You cannot buy outside. You and put it in a simple man, bottle, no this label, man is very Because I really good. intend to take all this olive and, and don't waste at all, because we have it already, we must take care. It's a sin to waste food, it's a crime to waste the food, it's already here. I remember the previous owner of your house. They plant aubergine, you know, eggplant, they plant salad, lettuce, tomato, everywhere, very productive. And the quality was... Oh, perfect. It was so good. And they were good, really good, good, yeah. good... Uh, they have a, a, a particular ability in doing yeah, this yeah, kind of things. Yeah. They really love this land very much. You, you have see. the sun, you have the water, you have everything. Yeah, yes. We must cultivate, okay? And some people don't even have land to cultivate. And we have so much. We must plant everywhere. Everywhere we can Isn't plant. Isn't that value to plant. your house? Yeah? Because all, all around will be, will be something that grows. I don't care value. We, we must be productive. <laughs> Yes, because it's a pity. Imagine the people that live in, in the desert, that yeah. they have to, to no. maximize everything yeah, they and they have water. nothing. Here yeah. we have uh, anything you put in the, in the land that grows. Yeah. It's so easy. Is it good? Though? It's perfect. Mm -hmm. And I finished uh, the, the spicy one. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. Just, it just and it will be a pleasure <laughs> to see the olive tree well, uh, well in shape. Uh, yes, and know. produce something. Yeah. It's yeah. already there. It's a pity to, to let it go. First year, if I remember well, you gave uh, the previous owner yeah. to pe the possibility to pick. I did, I did. Because <laughs> I say they take care the whole year and I come yeah. in the end of the year, yeah, yeah, so yes. everything belongs to them. Yeah, yeah. Before. I remember, I remember. I remember that moment. You have to be uh, correct, you know? Yeah. Uh, you have been. Because I came in at uh, the end of the year, and they've been taking care all the time until yeah. the end of the year. So, yeah. of course, I give it all to them. And they were happy, of course. <laughs> so, they do it Sure, huh? sure. But they, they, no, they work it very well with these trees. Uh, yeah, oh, they really love their trees. 
Do you don't eat vegetable or not? You see my nose? Little. Some of the things you gave was eaten. Yeah. Because he knows that after after one attempt, two attempt, three attempt, I gave uh, the food that she likes and she waits. <laughs> but they used to, because these dogs have been, been with me a long, long time. Yeah. So they used to with eating no vegetable. The new adoption also... Okay. I'm sure that yeah. if, I, if I keep the position mm -hmm. and if I, little by little, if you are hungry, yeah. you have to eat. Oh, I don't do that. <laughs> but, they do eat because they little. see my dog eat, so they eat together. The small bowls... Uh, Vegetables that uh, was given uh, from uh, from. Uh, I gave it to him. This was appreciated. Oh, and the, oh yes, yes. Oh, good. Then we give more. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. You can buy it from the. Yeah, but uh, where? Pet. We give you a bag. But which is the, you can the, buy the, the pet shop? From veterinary. We will ah, give you yes, address. Yes. Your cat can also eat that. First, you mix a little bit with the. At, at the beginning. Her uh, favorite food. Yes. And later, slowly Mixing more. Mixing little more, by yeah, little, uh, decreasing one quantity, ah, yes, yes, decreasing yes. the other one. Give you her favorite food together, and then she eats. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe better for her health. Number one, you have her longer. Number two, you don't have to feel so pain when she has pain. Now is the moment on which uh, she is very, very, uh, very in trouble. And, uh, that's all, but it's the life. So change it, change yes, it, try. It's a will. Huh? Try, you know, yeah. you don't lose nothing. She's already sick. You are right. Because many people try. Change vegetarian food and the dogs can get better. So I have I my, tell you. I, in the last, uh, I think, uh, Ten years, little by little, I decreased the uh, meat mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning, I was eating uh, on daily basis, mm -hmm. at least once a day, meat. Now, yeah. less and less, Very but, good. and I increased the cereal mm -hmm. yeah. and vegetables. Yeah. So you feel better Vegeta now? Yes, little by little, little by little. <laughs> but I have to 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 put together also physical activity uh -huh. because also in that case I used it to run a lot oh, and yes. uh, in the last year I stopped it completely oh. so I take weight Mohammed Ali now we're better. Be vegetarian we were, we were vegetarian dogs <laughs> birds it's a, it's, a, it's a good idea eh? yeah, the birds it's a lot of the fruit mm -hmm. they, ah, they adore the grapes yeah good I approach it and the bird <laughs> okay, I understood why you were here. Good for you. <laughs> yes. You see, we human, we can work, we can earn money, we can buy, but they cannot. So if they can eat, I'm happy. Give them some. <laughs> they like to eat like snakes also. I know this one? Yes. This was very appreciated by Oh, Rossi. wonderful. Then give this them one. one. Yes. Where That's you bought? Yes. Which is the mm. new one? Mm. Boyo. Boyo. Ciao, Boyo. Oh, yeah. 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 He's so, very affectionate. Okay. Ciao. This one? Happy. 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 Adopted. Adopted. Oh, adopted. Oh, yeah. He's a big adopted family. This one also adopted. Pomas. Pomi. It's Benny. The, the uh, Benny. oldest. Benny is a white one. Um, What's his? Benny. Hey, ciao. We enjoyed your company today for a gift of love. Simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai. Good People, Good Works is up next right after Noteworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. Blessed be your noble and compassionate hearts.